Hi, I'm Peter. I'm Jake. I'm Devin. And I'm John. For our project, we picked up trash around the local Amherst area. College life at UMass often leaves the areas around Fearing and Phillips Street littered with trash such as cans, cups, and plenty of other waste that has a direct effect on the environment. Litter affects climate change, local wildlife, and has general negative implications on public health. Proper waste management is crucial if we want to take care of our environment, and everyone should go out of their way to not litter or help pick up after others. Sustainability to us at Team 2 means to live on the earth and leave it like you were never there. This means no carbon footprint, no trash left undecomposed, and anything else that can have a negative mark on our planet. It's important because we want nature to flourish, and by picking up the streets of our community, we remove pollutants that can be harmful to the surrounding ecosystem and the earth. We would like to acknowledge that the work we are doing is on the unceded homelands of the Pakumtuk Nation, and the land of the Norwatic community. The history of the environmental degradation within the Connecticut River Valley, which we are now working to address, begins with the displacement and genocide of this land's original inhabitants. With this project, we strive to do our part in addressing the harm done to this land and its people, and we hope to take an active step towards building a more sustainable future. We started off by brainstorming what we would want to do and decide what we want to do to help our local community. We went around our local community near the frats and cleaned up all the trash on and off the street. Our project was a DIY project, so we didn't work with any program, but we came up with the idea, which we felt was fit for this project. Our mission as Team 2 was to help clean up around the community near the frat houses to try and spread sustainability leadership so others will take action to it like we did. We decided to do this work because after taking this class, it made us want to do more for our community, so we decided to help clean up one of the dirtier places on campus. We chose to target the residential neighborhood around Fearing Street as it exists in a transition zone between the UMass campus and the greater town of Amherst. While this neighborhood is just outside of the jurisdiction of the university, undergraduate students have a significant presence in the area. Fraternity and sorority houses line the east side of the neighborhood, while the west side borders the southwest residential area, home to over 5,500 undergraduate students. While interviewing a couple who have lived in Amherst for 18 years, they told us how much they hated the trash generated from students in their community. Hi, so as far as sustainability leadership project, is okay if I record you while we ask you some questions? Sure. All right, so uh, how do you feel about seeing the trash on, you know, fear? It's a bummer. Yeah. This is my home. I've lived here years and we pick up a lot of trash and most weekends I am saying to my husband it would be so nice if some of the students who are responsible for it would pick it up. And what would you say is the most common piece of trash you see on the streets? Truly cans. Cans. <laughs> yeah, cans. Yeah. Your truly cans. Right. Or plastic um, cups. Well, thank you guys very much and yeah. uh, we're trying to do our best. Good. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. In addition, this neighborhood contains an open section of Tanbrook, which drains into the Mill River, a tributary of the Connecticut River. In a Source to Sea cleanup initiative run by the Connecticut River Conservancy in 2022, over 34 tons of trash were diverted from the Connecticut River watershed by volunteers doing similar trash cleanups in tributary rivers and streams all around the valley. In addition to wildlife commonly choking or becoming entangled in single-use waste that ends up in waterways, Environmental health is also compromised by microplastics and other microscopic pollutants. For example, a single cigarette butt can leach enough nicotine and heavy metals to contaminate 1,000 liters of water, which is about an entire year's worth of drinking water for one person. Sustainability leadership is important because not only are we stepping in in our community to help fight climate change, but through our actions, we can inspire others to do the same, if not more, for their communities and their environments. The most surprising and satisfying part about our project was the overwhelmingly kind and positive reactions from people walking and driving by. It felt incredibly empowering to know that our impact was not just limited to what we could physically do to affect our environment, as we felt that our actions also worked to influence others in our community, showing them what is possible when you tackle large issues one piece of litter at a time. It's an S for sustainability.